you brought in Ilka to play as the physical actor, took his likeness as Alan Wake, but you had Matthew do the voice. Why was that decision taken at the time to do it in that certain way? I think it's just the history of how how games have been made. If we go all the way back to 90s and, and Max Payne era, I really feel that we were among the first who started using real life people as models for the characters. A lot up to that point, it was essentially just creating the characters, the looks of the characters, you know, as you would Mm. in a, say, animated film. And then bringing in voice actors Mm -hmm. to perform the lines. We ended up using real life models, (laughs) you know. (laughs) But at that point, we didn't really even consider that that what if this person is one and the same the history was somehow okay yeah how how it's been done so strong and even like like i felt when when i saw finally what what rockstar did with max payne 3 namely bringing james <laughs> in as the character the whole character i was going like <laughs> Why, why, you know, what? I mean, Timothy Gibbs did a marvelous job as 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 the physical actor of, of Max Payne in Max Payne 2. But I still went like, we didn't even stop to consider that James could do the whole thing. Uh, and, and so we were very much mentally in this place when we started working on Alan Wake. And, and, and that's kind of like for the physical actor, we were looking close by. Mm-hmm. And, and and Ilka is brilliant and, and a really good friend and a wonderful actor and, and really, really feel lucky that we found him when we were casting here. But then we, we just kept going the same way as we had done with Max Payne. So yeah. we reached out to Navid in New York and we started doing casting sessions with, with New York-based actors for all the voice roles. Mm. And, and some of them are already like same actors who who had been in in roles for Max Payne. For us, it was only Quantum Break, where we put a lot of effort internally also into the whole engine of of character creation and all the animations and everything, you know, aiming for digital doubles, Mm. which was partly also motivated with the idea that there's going to be a TV show as part of the experience and we'll have the same actors so we really, really need to push the technology to get to the point where they are comparable. That was where that mental shift happened. <laughs> and, and But at the same time, coming to Alan Wake 2, there was never any kind of a question that, that we would want to change anything when mm-hmm. it comes to Alan Wake's character. Of course. Like, Il- Ilka is wonderful. He did a wonderful job. I knew that he we, we could go way further and, and, and Matt as well. And and honestly, like through the years of, of doing bits and pieces, American Nightmare mm-hmm. and, and then in Control DLC, AWE, and, and, and obviously like because we were trying to get Alan Wake 2 started, uh, there were all kinds of prototypes done, you know, uh, bringing both of them in. Oh, on and wow. off through the years so 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 it was there was no question about it even though of course these days you know having one actor perform and do it it's simpler actually yeah. but, like there are less steps in the process yeah like like we we had instances where matt was pro- providing reference voice for ilka to listen and and internalize because they they both wanted to have it as seamless as possible mm-hmm. Then Ilka doing motion capture, delivering the lines, but also like keeping Matt's delivery in his mind. Matt got that material, was looking at him it, and, and did his delivery for the VO. And then Ilka went into performance capture booth and, and lip synced and, and performed like his facial expressions to, to Matt's lines. And then we had the whole package and I did the same. <laughs> You know, when it comes to Casey and, and, wow. and you know, it's a lot of work, uh, <laughs> yeah. a lot of effort put into making it as seamless as possible. <laughs>